In this video, we're going over five tips to get better audio with your iPhone. Hey, I'm Nick with Table 19 Media, where we show you how to take better photos and video so you can grow your brand. While you're here, make sure that you like this video and also, why don't you subscribe? So recording good audio with your iPhone is definitely possible, especially if you're in a pinch and you need to record a voiceover or you need to record a meeting or even record audio for your video. Now, recording audio on your iPhone is definitely not the best solution. However, in a pinch, it can be very, very useful. So here are five tips to take better audio with your iPhone. Tip number one is to know where on the iPhone the microphones are located. The main microphone for the iPhone is located on the bottom here next to the port on the left side of the port. That is the main microphone. Now, if you have an iPhone 11 Pro, you are gonna have a few other microphones, one being where the camera module is right here. And then also on the front, you are going to have another microphone right next to the ear speaker. So it's at least good to know where the microphones are on your iPhone. The second tip is to point the microphone in the direction of the sound source. So if I'm trying to record my voice, I wanna make sure that this is, this is pointed directly towards my mouth. Now, I don't wanna just hold my phone up in the air and be talking in a room so where the, all the audio is gonna be collected is gonna be my voice you know, bouncing all over the room. So I wanna make sure that the phone is pointed directly at my mouth or directly at the sound source so that it can get a clear signal of audio. So when I'm recording my voice with my phone, I wanna make sure that it's not just you know, out in the open and, and this far away from my mouth. I wanna make sure that I'm uh, as close as I can be at around negative 12 recording my voice so that I have a nice, strong and clear signal. Now something cool with the app Filmic Pro for shooting video, and this is the uh, app that I prefer to shoot video with, is that if you go into the settings and then under audio, you can actually select one of the three microphones to record audio while you're recording your video. So that is a super handy little tool within Filmic Pro to shoot video with. So make sure next time when you're in the Filmic Pro shooting video that you make sure that the microphone that is recording audio is the one that's going to get the best signal for the direction that you are pointing your microphone. Tip number three is that if you're going to get a good clear sound from your audio is to avoid spaces with lots or even any ambient sounds. So obviously you don't wanna be in a hallway trying to record a voiceover when there are people around in offices and telephones are going off or even outside where possibly you know, wind can sweep by and uh, you know, get that, get that uh, wind sound in the microphone or just traffic going by, you wanna try and isolate yourself as best as possible so that the ambient noise is at a very minimum. The main microphone on the iPhone is an omnidirectional microphone, which means that it is picking up sound from all over, not just in one specific location or one specific direction. Therefore, it is an omnidirectional microphone. Tip number four is to use a third-party app to record your audio. Now, I know that the iPhone comes with the Voice Memos app, and that has been a very popular app just to record you know, no, voice notes here and there. But if you are gonna be recording audio for a very important purpose, like you know, for your video or a voiceover, then I suggest using the app Sure Plus Motive. Now, this app is made by the microphone company Sure, which has a good track record of making quality products. Now, Sure made this app to use in conjunction with their MV88 Plus microphone, but you can also use the app as a standalone app and use it just with your phone. The biggest feature for me using this app is that you can export uncompressed audio, which means that you're getting the full quality of the audio that you're recording without any compression. 
The app also has an audio meter at the top so that you can make sure that the levels of your sound are within the appropriate range. Now when recording audio, you wanna make sure that you are recording right about negative 12. That's just in the Goldilocks zone where it's not too faint, but it's also not too strong to where you're gonna be clipping. So make sure that while you're recording, you're monitoring your audio with the audio meter and that your audio signal is at about negative 12. Number five, if possible, is to record in a space that has items to deaden the echo. Because walls cause sound waves to bounce all throughout and create that echo, you wanna make sure that you record in a room that has items that can disrupt the sound waves from bouncing all over the place, creating that echo. Two extreme examples of this is if you were to record in a bathroom. Hey, this is me recording in a bathroom as opposed to recording in your closet full of clothes. And this is me recording in the closet. So recording a good audio with your phone is definitely possible and hopefully these five tips will help you to record better audio with your iPhone. That's it for this video. Make sure that you let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful at all, if I missed anything, if you have any other questions about recording audio on your iPhone or recording audio in general. Make sure that you like this video and also subscribe while you're here. Also, we have two courses that we've put together for taking better photos and video with your smartphone or for real estate. You can check those out in the description below. Thanks for joining me. I will see you in the next video.